All right, guys, what is going on? My name is Ollie Ward, and welcome back to the Ollie Ward channel. I hope you have all had a fantastic day, and you're back here to get the latest Leeds United transfer news. But before we do get into the transfer news, guys, be sure to smash 150 likes on this video. Also, subscribe if you're new. There's still a lot of you who are watching this and not subscribing. I think that's rude. So uh, go down there and subscribe, and also comment today. Your first lead shirt, okay? And who did you have on the back of it? I want to know. Maybe if you support another club, tell me that. Who you had on the back of it? Maybe your first Liverpool shirt, first Arsenal shirt. I don't care. Let me know. Did you just get it plain or did you have someone on the back? Let me know in the comments down below. I, I, I love reading the comments. The comments are fantastic. Without further ado, let's just get into the Leeds United transfer news. There is a lot of news today coming out of Ellen Road. And before I actually do get into the news... I've had a couple of comments. I mean, 99% of the comments are lovely. But a couple of comments say, none of this ever happens. This is bullshit. Okay, it's it's not me. I'm reporting from what I see. It's transfer rumors. It's a bit of fun over the summer. Some will come true. Some won't. Okay, thought I'd just put that out there to so stop complaining. All right, first up, the transfer news. Leeds won RB Salzburg right back, Rasmus Christensen or Christensen. Uh, he's 24-year-old uh, Danish international who's wanted by Leeds, Dortmund, and Brentford. Uh, Leeds still tracking Calvin Ramsey, but so are Liverpool. So the big chance he'll be uh, moving to Liverpool. I don't think he can turn down um, an Anfield call-up. That is from Phil Hay. He did say that today. Um, he's much better than than Ailing. This guy. I've watched a couple of clips of him. I don't know too much about him. Like I said, I, I don't know too much about um, Christensen. But he does look a very, very tasty little right back. I've watched a couple of highlights. They've been all over Twitter. And Leeds are, um, are actually confident of moving forward with negotiations, says the Yorkshire Evening Post. Um, it's it's a weird one where we need a right back because Ailing, I don't think Ailing can play as much as he did last year. Or he has in the last couple of seasons. One to do of injury, two to do with he is becoming a weak link in the side, if I'm being, being completely honest. Uh, obviously, I've said recently that uh, Cody Drama wants to fight for his uh, first team spot, but I don't know if that's. I think you've got to ease him into that first team spot. I don't think you can play one season in the championship and just get him straight back in there. Maybe could send him out on loan again, or maybe he'll still uh, try and fight for that right back position. Um, the the twenty four year old Danish international will cost around ten million pounds. He got 10 goals and 8 assists last season from right back. I mean, I don't know how good the league is, all right? But e even even so, 10 goals and 8 assists from a right back is fantastic. And he's another one where I know I always say it, but go and watch some highlights of him. He's about 6 foot 2, but he's quick, he's athletic, he's strong, he gets stuck into challenges and leads are very confident of moving forward with negotiations like I've already said. The only thing is Dortmund won him and Brentford won him as well. Will he pick Leeds out of these uh, out of these teams? I, I I don't know. Leeds want him. I don't know if the player wants to come yet. Um, I, I'm not 100% sure. He won the title with Salzburg last season. Again, just looks a very good signing. It, it's weird we're being linked with all these Salzburg because of Marsh and we're getting linked because uh, the Americans because of Marsh. But this one, I believe, has got legs. It has come from Phil Hay and the Yorkshire Evening Post, which are most uh, quite reliable when it comes to the Leeds United news. So we'll keep an eye out on that, but he does look a very good talent. Like I say, go watch some highlights of Rasmus Christensen. He looks very good. And the next bit of news we're talking about is actually came out about 20 minutes before I'm recording this. Rafinha to Barcelona. Like obviously, that's been a big talking point at the moment since the season has ended since January. It looked like Rafinha wanted to go to Barcelona, and that was his priority, his move. Uh, to Barcelona since February, he uh, his agent came out and said, but the deal is not close to being completed, confirms Fabrizio Romano. Uh, Leeds have no intentions to accept less than 55 million euros. Um, and Leeds are saying they don't want us, they don't want any team, any club to pay in installments. They want the, they want the money up front. So nothing less than 55 million euros. And Barcelona at the moment cannot pay that. Um, it's up to Barcelona now as other clubs are joining the race to sign Rafinha. I think these clubs are the likes of Liverpool, Chelsea and Real Madrid. I think even Bayern Munich were looking at Rafinha. And it's that thing again where I know Rafinha is a professional, but if he doesn't want to be here, let's try and get some money somewhere else. If it's not Barcelona, let's maybe try and get him gone if he doesn't want to be here. I'm not saying he doesn't love the club. I'm just saying I don't want a half-hearted player 
who's not heads fully focused here. I know he wanted his move since February, and we've seen how much he's done this season um, to keep us up. He says he's done his job here, and now he wants to move away. He probably deserves a move away, but at the moment, it doesn't look like Barcelona can afford Rafinha. So uh, I'll keep you up to date on that. But Rafinha doesn't look like he's going to Barcelona anytime soon unless they get rid of some faces. Uh, next up um, in the Leeds United news is again confirmed by Phil Hay. Leeds did look at Eddie Inketia, but looking like he's going to sign a new deal at Arsenal. Fabrizio Romano um, came out and said that news about him signing a new deal with Arsenal. Um, I believe that was the, the unnamed forward. Uh, you know that everyone was is debating. They said we we're looking at Brendan Aronson, Calvin Ramsey, and an unnamed Premier League striker. Apparently, Leeds did have talks with Eddie Nketiah and, and the club itself. Now, Leeds are being linked with Southampton player Che Adams. Um, there's a, he's another player Leeds are linked with, uh, and it does show that Leeds are interested in bringing in a new centre forward because we've had the the looks of Eddie, who actually wants to stay and fight for his place at Arsenal. And Shay Adams is another one on the card. Maybe even Minamino links into that centre-forward role. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's it shows that, you know, we, we are looking for someone maybe to link with Bamford. People are saying there's no need. We've got Joffy. We've got Blair. We've got Blair. You know, I I do think we need a bagsman. Someone like a, I know it's a bit weird, but someone like a Danny Ings, you know, he's just got an eye for goal. He'll get you 10 goals each season. I want someone like that. But yeah, it does look like Leeds are looking at some centre forwards and they look like they're being prem, like Premier League proven centre forwards, which is always good. Uh, next bit of news. I mean, there's quite a lot of news today, guys. I did warn you. Leeds looking at a new central midfielder. Leeds have inquired about both Garner and O'Brien. Uh, James Garner and Lewis O'Brien, that is from Manchester United or has been on loan at Nottingham Forest. And Huddersfield, that is Lewis O'Brien, says Phil Hay. James Garner uh, did come out and say that he's hopeful he'll be included in the Man United squad next season. But he might get loaned out again under, uh, you know, Ten Hag will go in and he'll see his players, see what he wants to do. Uh, Forrest and Leeds are both expecting to put offers in. You know what? He might want to fight for Man United. He leads are looking at him. Forrest, there's something in his heart there that maybe they could sign him on a permanent. So I'm unsure about Garner, but Garner or O'Brien, I'd like. People are saying, no, that's a step down. That's not the right thing. I don't know. These players, they both played in the playoff finals. Best players for both teams. They're both fantastic. And uh, I wouldn't mind either one of them if we did get one in, if I'm being completely honest. Um, O'Brien, kept uh, that we've kept monitoring him throughout the whole season. Obviously, we didn't want to pay Huddersfield's um, clause. We couldn't even just pay a bit more million to get Lewis O'Brien. Um, and it looks like we could maybe trigger his 10 million transfer fee, which would be fantastic. I would take Lewis O'Brien or James Garner. But yeah, Garner wants to maybe fight for his first team spot at Manchester United, which he probably deserves to. And Forrester looking at him and Lewis O'Brien. You know what? He might stay at Huddersfield another season. I'm unsure what he will do. But yeah, I'll keep an eye on that one and I'll let you guys know. A couple more bits of news. A new goalkeeper. Again, Phil Hay said that Leeds were looking at Randolph uh, from West Ham on loan in January. A new experienced goalkeeper. Does that mean uh, Christopher Clayson will go out on loan? I'm not 100% sure. But yeah, we need a... People are saying go for Nick Pope, but Nick Pope is too good to be on the bench. So is Melier. So we need maybe a goalkeeper who's experienced, who's on the bench for another team. The Randolphs, the Ruddies. Not like a Fraser Forster, but he looks like he's on his way to Tottenham Hotspur. Someone like that, but Leeds are looking for an experienced goalkeeper to come sit on the bench and maybe, like I said, put an arm round Melia. I said that a few um, uh, transfer videos ago. I said he needs someone like that, and it looks like Leeds are listening to me and doing that. A couple of last things. Morgan Gibbs-White, a fantastic talent play for Sheffield United out on loan last season. Leeds, Nottingham Forest, and Southampton are battling for the Englishman's uh, signature. His value is at around £20 million. I mean, again, I, I would do that. I would go for him. I think he's a fantastic talent. He could play next to Aronson. You know, he 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 just he, he lit up the championship last year. And I hope Leeds maybe push for this. But this is one of them where it sounds a bit too good to be true. And it was reported by The Sun. So take it with a pinch of salt. And the last bit of news is Ishmael Lassar. Uh, the Watford player has been given the green light to leave Watford as they've been relegated to the championship. Leeds have shown interest and apparently have spoke to Sar's agent. But again, it's a winger. Will Marsh want to play wingers? I'm not 100% sure, but Sar is another fantastic player. Too good to be at Watford. He's been given the green light to leave. 
should Leeds go in for him. Guys, hopefully you've been all up to date with the Leeds United transfer news. A lot's coming out recently, so I'm going to try and keep these flowing. If you guys are enjoying them, be sure to smash that like button. Let's try and smash 150 likes and also subscribe if you are new. We're closing in on 7,000 subscribers, which is absolutely insane. And yeah, comment your first shirt. Who'd you get on the back? It could be Leeds, could not. Just let me know. And let me know your thoughts on all these players I've listed down below. A lot of transfer news today. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I've been Ollie Ward. You guys have been excellent. And I'll catch you in the next transfer news. See ya. No, not see ya. Cheery. Oh.